in this illustration, we will be calculating the minimum pressure of an expanding gas. We are given that uh, there is a one mole of ideal gas and if during its expansion temperature and volume are related as T naught plus alpha V square where T naught and alpha are constant will be calculating the minimum attainable pressure of this gas. So, here in solution we can write here we use by gas law we can write P V is equals to R T as one mole of gas is there. And the gas pressure can be given as E is equals to R T by V and if we substitute the value of T this is R by V multiplied by T naught plus alpha V square which is written as R multiplied by T naught by V plus alpha V. So, here we can see that gas pressure depends on the volume of gas and we can write P is minimum 1 dP by dV is equals to 0. Here we will use the concept of maximum minima to find the minimum pressure. And if we differentiate it, dp by dv is given as this will be minus r t naught by v square plus this will be alpha r and this should be equals to zero. So in this situation, we can see this r gets cancelled out and it gives us the value of v is equals to root of t naught by alpha. So, this is the volume at which dp by dv becomes zero and by second derivative check you can verify that at this volume second derivative of p with respect to v will come out to be positive that means the value of pressure is minimum at this value. So, here we can calculate the minimum pressure can be given as this r t by V and if we substitute the value of T over here which is given as T naught plus alpha V square this gives R by V multiplied by T naught plus alpha V square and we can substitute V as root of T naught by alpha. So, the value of minimum pressure is given as R upon root of T naught by alpha multiplied by T naught plus this is alpha v square. So, v square is t naught by alpha. So, this is also t naught. So, on simplifying the result we will be getting is this is you can see r by root t naught and this 2 t naught. So, this will be 2 r root of t naught alpha that is the result of this problem.